بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله On this eighth day of the month of Ramadan we ask Allah to accept our worship and to admit us in Al-Jannah and we ask Allah to protect us from the fire we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help our brothers and sisters that are suffering at the hands of the oppressors may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala seize the oppressors Allahumma ameen The Prophet alayhi salatu was salam said, مَا مِنْ عَبْدٍ إِلَّا وَلَهُ صِيْتٌ فِي السَّمَاءِ فَإِذَا كَانَ صِيْتُهُ فِي السَّمَاءِ حَسَنًا وُضِعَ فِي الْأَرْضِ حَسَنًا وَإِذَا كَانَ صِيْتُهُ فِي السَّمَاءِ سَيِّئًا وُضِعَ فِي الْأَرْضِ سَيِّئًا Every single slave has a reputation in the heavens with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If his reputation is good, then Allah will place the same reputation on earth if his reputation with Allah is bad then Allah will place that reputation on earth my brothers and sisters living in the era of Facebook and YouTube and social media people are very concerned about likes followers fans in this age of luxuries we care so much about the external appearance of how we look with our clothes what brand names do we wear our sneakers our phones uh, our houses uh, our gardens our furniture does it match with the curtains um, or do the curtains match with the furniture um, you know and so much more we just care so much about these external things uh, hairstyles right it is so easy to get caught up with what people think of us what people see of us from us uh, what type of job I have what is my title how much money I make how big my bank account is we want reputation among the people we lose, we lose track of what is most important and that is my reputation with Allah what am I in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala see of me Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the Prophet والسلام, said إن الله لا ينظر إلى صوركم ولا إلى أموالكم ولا إلى أجسادكم. الله سبحانه وتعالى doesn't look at your appearance. He doesn't look at your wealth. He doesn't look at your bodies. He doesn't look how strong you are. He doesn't look how skinny you are. He doesn't look how um, beautiful you are. ولكن ينظر إلى قلوبكم وأعمالكم. Rather he looks at your hearts. And he looks at your actions. He looks at your hearts. The quality within your hearts. The iman within your hearts. The sincerity within your hearts. The love that you carry within your hearts for Allah. The reliance that you carry for Allah. The hope and fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala within your hearts. And how all of these qualities within the heart lead to actions. Good deeds. How all of that within your heart translates and manifests itself into good deeds and good actions and acts of worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <clears throat> when we seek Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's love, we will get the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala back. When we love Allah azza wa jal, we will get the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the question is, what am I in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? There are things that you do that are pure worships to Allah azza wa jalla, such as salah and zakah and siyam and hajj, qiraatul quran, dua, dhikr of Allah azza wa jal. In acts of worship, one must seek the pleasure of Allah azza wa jal alone. 100%. Because otherwise it can become riya, 
show off and because of that the person loses the reward of those good deeds the other question is can a person show off in the worldly sense can i show off my car can i show off my house well the scholars they say that showing off your car is not necessarily a sin in and of itself but it can lead to other qualities within the heart that are dispraised in Islam, such as fakhr, such as ujb, you know, being self-conceited, self-admiration, or kibr, arrogance, right? Or belittling others, thinking you're better than them. Or a person may think when he's showing off in the dunya uh, that perhaps Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves him. But we know that inna Allah yu'ti dunya liman yuhib wa liman la yuhib. Allah Azza wa gives dunya to everyone. The people he loves, the people he does not love. Dunya, everybody shares. So it, because showing off in the dunya can lead to these bad qualities, the scholars of Islam highly discourage showing off in the dunya. So one must be careful from the dunya. So, but when it comes to seeking the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the pleasure of the people, one has to be careful that if I'm seeking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's pleasure, then whether or not peop the people are happy with me, I should remain focused and worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Keep my focus to the pleasure of Allah When the pleasure of Allah and the pleasure of the people, they come head to head, then you must sacrifice the pleasure of the people and you must seek the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alhamdulillah, if you're doing something that Allah is pleased with and the people are pleased with, it's fine. But your intention must be to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet said, Man iltamasa ridha Allah, Whoever seeks the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at the cost of the displeasure of the people, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will suffice him regarding the harm of the people. But one who sacrifices the pleasure of Allah for the pleasure of the people, because of the pleasure of the people, he wants to seek the pleasure of the people, but he doesn't care about the pleasure of Allah, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will leave him at the mercy of the people. And when Allah leaves you at the mercy of the people, the people will not be merciful to you. Because Allah is the merciful one, not the people. So we must seek the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We must worry about what is my reputation with Allah rather than my reputation with the people. We're not saying don't worry about your honor with the people. But that shouldn't be your goal. Your goal should be the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because at times people may be pleased with you but Allah azza wa may be displeased with you. One of the poets he said Wallahi lahu sahib al-insanu jibreela Lam yaslam il-mar'u min qala wa min qila Qad qila fillahi aqwalun musannafah تُتْلَى إِذَا رُتِّلَ الْقُرْآنُ تَرْتِيلًا قَدْ قِيلَ إِنَّ لَهُ وَلَدًا وَصَاحِبًا زُورًا عَلَيْهِ وَبُهْتَانًا وَتَضْلِيلًا هذا قولهم في الله خالقهم هذا قولهم في الله خالقهم فكيف لو قيل فينا بعض ما قيل he said, Subhanallah, people are not pleased with Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They call him names. People are not even pleased with Allah. People disbelieve in Allah. People said partners with Allah. People say he has a son. Subhanallah. So what do people say about us, what they say about us? As long as you're in the truth and you're doing the right thing, you should, and Allah is pleased with you, then Alhamdulillah, you should be content. And the Prophet ﷺ made dua for the one who seeks the pleasure of Allah. Man iltamasa ridallahi bi sakhati nas, 
radiyallahu anhu wa arda anhu nas. The Prophet said, whoever seeks the pleasure of Allah at the cost of the pleasure of the people, then may Allah be pleased with him and may Allah azza wa jal make the people pleased with him. See, Allah will take care of the pleasure of the people for you. وَمَنِ الْتَمَسَ رِضَ النَّاسِ بِسَخَطِ اللَّهِ سَخِطَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَأَسْخَطَ عَلَيْهِ النَّاسِ And whoever seeks the pleasure of the people at the cost of the displeasure of Allah, then may Allah be displeased with him and may Allah cause the people to be displeased with him. So, we should seek the pleasure of Allah Azza wa Jal. We should worry about our reputation with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take care of our reputation with others, with the people. May Allah Azza wa Jal make us sincere and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Make us among those who seek his pleasure and who seek his jannah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with us. Be with us. Allahumma amin. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.